Welcome to your last chapter, chapter 10. Um, hope it's been a good course for you. This last one's a good summation chapter, and it looks at the entire context of cultural influences on communication. Context is everything, right? Um, formal versus informal, social versus business, um, and so on and so on. Context means, uh, and high context cultures mean, it depends upon the situation as how they affect the word spoken. Low context cultures, such as the U.S. typically, the words mean what they mean. And this is, this is probably the biggest culture shock uh, that you know, people experience is that they don't understand those variations among different peoples and organi organizations for that matter and uh, parts of the world. The key, I think, is understanding that contexts do change, that there is a variety among cultures, and the goals. The goals, that your art goals, your communication goals that you have uh, established before you begin your um, your process of communicating. So just look, we're just going to kind of skim over this a little bit. All human interaction is influenced by culture, social, physical settings. So this context, it's it's kind of a, a to borrow a term from the military, it's called situational awareness. What's my situation? Am I, in fact, aware or am I just blindly or like a bull in a china shop forging my way through with no regard for the, my situation around me? That is not smart communication. It's for sure not smart business. It's sort of like telling jokes at a funeral. Um, I'm not saying never, but if you are, you know, especially if you're delivering the eulogy, that might not be the best your timing, what we would call your timing, was a little off. Um, it might be way off. Even things as simple as the color or to bring a present, uh, the color of something or to bring a present for a business uh, dinner or something like that. Um, the rules and um, the potential downsides and upsides are equally great. So assess it. You know, we talk about that power-distance relationship in Gert Hofstede. Please do study that. That's an excellent resource because it uh, compares things on equal terms. Um, business culture or business context is, is what our focus is, obviously. And uh, you know, cross-cultural work teams and things like that, it becomes critical that more due diligence is done to go out of your way to explain, okay, if you have a, a person from a different culture joining a work team that's here, I mean, they have an obligation to understand our culture and the work culture that they're entering. And as a leader, you might have the obligation to clearly understand and explain, okay, person, there are differences. You do have to be aware of this in order to work effectively. Because that's the deal. We're after effective communication. And that's hard under the best circumstances. Um, you know, business protocols or the steps... Um, through which organizations and, and uh, communication takes place are, uh, are key. And that's true in the United States as well, but typically words mean what they say. Taboos, conversational, you know, politics is probably a, a huge one. Religious differences are um, you know, probably not warranted in business context. And jokes, humor is not a universally, um, it's not universal as far as what's funny. I mean, even British humor versus U.S. humor, there are differences. Uh, and some of my favorite shows are British shows, but uh, there, are, there are differences, subtle that they may be. Communication and business culture, and this is something we've talked about all through this course, influences leadership style, decision-making, formality, um, the kind of the sociological implications, the org behavior um, context and implications of truly um, communicating is it's key to understand those things or it's wise to understand those things. So take the time to do the research. Now, communication in a multicultural business context, the, the points here in the chapter give some 
various uh, profiles. Again, that coupled with your own research, some of the, that I provided on my USF, you should have a very good uh, you know, start at least. Brazil, India, and so on. N knowing, seeking is uh, a key thing. Even, even within the United States, um, there are differences and you know, with respect to time and, and business culture. You go from one organization to another, you can have different cultural, different communication issues potentially. Healthcare belief systems, um, you know, different uh, differences there can, uh, can have great impact on communication, you know, how illness is treated, employment of interpreters, uh, and so on. So I think that pretty much covers chapter 10. Again, there's more reference than anything, but please use it to your advantage and uh, finish strong in the course. Thank you.